The smell of innovation. Hi everybody, I'm Crystal Lee, and today on the Technophiles newscast, the smell of rotten eggs and which is colder, Wisconsin in January or Antarctica? Oh yeah, and superconductors. Superconductors are materials that have no electrical resistance, usually when cooled to extremely low temperatures. We already use superconductors for expensive science stuff like MRIs and CERN. This technology isn't very accessible yet because the materials have to be cooled to close to absolute zero or around negative 460 degrees Fahrenheit. Because of this, looking for ways to create a superconductor that would work at room temperature has been going on for some time now and we might just be one step closer. Researchers at the Max Planck Institute for Chemistry have successfully tested a superconductor that worked at the balmy temperature of negative 70 degrees Celsius, AKA negative 94 degrees Fahrenheit, or just cold enough that Wisconsin schools might cancel. To put this into perspective, for those of you not familiar with Wisconsin winters, the lowest recorded temperature in Antarctica was negative 89.2 degrees Celsius or negative 129 degrees Fahrenheit. And this test marks the first time a superconductor has worked above those temperatures. Now on to the weird stuff. You see, I did not forget about the rotten eggs I mentioned in the beginning. Instead of using some fancy new fangled components, this record was broke using hydrogen sulfide, otherwise known as that stuff that makes sewers, paper mills, and some hot springs smell like rotten eggs. But don't start worrying about how bad your future computer will smell just yet. This record was just broken and more tests are needed to confirm these findings. Besides, you'll get used to the smell. Trust me, when we do get superconductors up to room temperature, where would you like to see them first? Let us know in the comments below or tweet us at TechnophilesPod. Not enough TPN for you? You can also find us on Facebook and iTunes by searching Technophiles Podcast or visit our webpage at www.technophilespodcast.com. See you next week. If you would like something to drink with your eggs, press here to hear about the drinkable book. Not your taste? How about an EM drive? Get to the moon in four hours. Press this video. You can also subscribe to us down here by our subscribe button with my egg pointer. And now I know what you're thinking. You want me to juggle the egg, but I really don't want to wash the floor today and there is no way this egg will not break.